welcome back to my channel. Um, you see the facial look like here? I'm coming with my mom today. I did her makeup. Doesn't it look pretty? So, um, if you want to see how I did this, stay tuned. Thank you. Bye. Can you tell how excited I am? I am like so stoked to do her makeup. She finally let me, so I was like, yes, let's get it on camera. Um, so to start out, of course, you're going to need a clean palette, so a clean face. Um, I'm going to use rose oil on her face. She has combination skin like me, so I thought that the rose oil would help, especially with her skin, to kind of give her that dewy glow um, that she was going for. Alrighty, so after moisturizing her face, I'm gonna go in with my YBF eyebrow pencil. My mom has really faint eyebrows, so I just wanted to bring that in. Not too harsh, because I didn't want to give her a harsh eyebrow look, but I wanted it to be more natural. Of course, you know I love my LA Girl Pro Concealer, so I'm going in with the color Fawn to highlight her brow bone. Of course you know when it comes to makeup, your eyebrows are the focal point. So I had to go back in to make sure her eyebrows were on point. Since I decided to do a pop of color in her eyelids, I decided to take that color font and move it down to her eyelids so that the color would pop a little bit more. So one trick I actually use to color correct dark spots is actually lipstick. Yes, I said it, lipstick. I actually use Milani in the color Sweet Nectar to hide and fade those dark spots so that when I put my mom's concealer on, she is looking flawless. I'm going in here with my mom's choice of foundation. She uses the CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made in the color Cappuccino. You're also gonna see me go in here with the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Fawn, um, only because my mom's foundation is a little too dark for her skin complexion, and I wanted to tone it down just a bit. So I know this is a part that people struggle with, and it's not actually putting the foundation on, it's actually blending. I actually blended this for a really, really long time because you want the foundation not only to sit on the face, but kind of look more flawless than anything. So my blending, you'll see me go in a bunch of times and continue blending just to make sure everything is, you know, more flawless and effortless. To highlight my mom's under eyes, I'm gonna go in with the color Fawn again, the LA Girl Pro Concealer, my all-time favorite.
she's talking about how crazy she looks. Um, I was not worried about that, you guys. I got a clean beauty blender and I'm just gonna go ahead and start blending that out. As I mentioned before, do not be scared to blend. Don't be scared to blend. Blending is what is gonna make your makeup look so flawless. Like, you have to have to blend. Make sure there's no creasing. Make sure there's no cakiness. Just blend, girl, blend. A little trick I've learned is at right after you finish blending out your concealer, right after you want to take your setting powder, whatever setting powder you want to use, and lightly dab that where you just finished blending. Now, for me, I'm going to go in with the black opal um, finishing powder in the color dark. After which, I'm just going to take a brush and lightly brush any of the residue off. All right, darling, it's time to contour, darling. Um, I love to use my pressed powder to contour. I know this is like, whatever. I love to use pressed powder. That's what I love to use. I'm going to continue using. I'm going in with uh, Black Radiance in the color Black Coffee for my mom. You're gonna see me going in a bunch of times under my mom's under eye just to make sure that that concealer did not crease or did not cake up while I was doing the rest of her face. I'm gonna go ahead and contour her nose now. I'm gonna use the same Black Radiance Press Powder in the color Black Coffee. It's really important to note that when you're contouring your nose, Make sure and drag that color up to your brow bone, please. It makes the blending more flawless, trust me. If you're wondering about this brush I'm using, it's my e.l.f. contouring brush. Oh my gosh. It comes in so handy for your nose contour. I'm just going to go in and contour my mom's chin as well as her jawline. The blush I'm using is Black Radiance in the color Raspberry. My client, AKA my mom, wanted a really pretty eye, but she wanted something really simplistic. So I decided to use Juvia's Masquerade Palette in the color Zobo. So what I'm gonna do is just pack that color into the lid and then I'm gonna go ahead and blend it out.
Just be careful when you're doing this part. You don't want any fallout from that eyeshadow. You just want to blend that color up into the brow bone. If you pack color into the lid, just make sure you're packing a little at a time so you can always go in and add more color. Just remember, each time you add more color in, just go back in to blend it out. You don't want to have a line of demarcation. As you can see, I practice what I preach. I'm dragging that color from her nose contour into her brow bone. There was a tiny bit of fallout, so just go back in with your concealer and just blend that thing out. Don't forget to hype your client up because they're looking bomb as hell. Just adding some more black radiance blush. It's time to let the real baking begin. I'm going in with my black opal finishing powder in the color dark. Time to brush that away. Brush it away, girl. I'm using this highlighter on my mom's nose. I am so sorry, you guys. I bought this highlighter from Forever 21, and it honestly does not have a name. I don't even know if they still make it, but I love it. It's like a gold, um, and it comes in different like variations, but it's so pretty, and I just wanted to use a little bit on my mom just to give her a little glow. Do you see what I mean about the blending? Like, I might be a little blend crazy, but sis, her makeup was sitting, okay? Period. Oh, hey, boo. For my mom's eyelashes, I'm gonna go in with my mascara, my favorite mascara. It's called Big Tease. It's by the brand Buxom. It's really, I love it. It's so, like, it's so good. It's just so good. Okay, so I'm gonna apologize in advance. My camera actually died in the middle of me doing my mom's lip, but I am going in with my um, NYX lip liner in the color dark brown. The color of lipstick I'm using as a base is actually Milani in the color Bahama Beige. The next lip color I use to transition that is actually Milani as well, and it's called Matte Glam. In the part of the footage that was lost, I used Black Opal Lip Gloss in the color Impassioned Pink. And of course, you know I have to go in with my final product, my NYX Matte Finishing Spray. I love this stuff. Thank you 
guys so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe thank you just let me know how i'm doing if you want to see more content like this stay yes. tuned just let us know okay <laughs>